Hello and welcome to the course of HDL Digital Circuit Design. Today's topic is step by step guide for FPGA implementation of 1011 Melee overlapping sequence register using Vivado tool. Myself Shilpa Rudravar, Assistant Professor, School of ENTC Engineering, MIT Academy of Engineering, IND Pune. So in previous session, we have seen what is Melee Sequence Detector, how to go ahead with the state diagram, how to write a test bench, how to write a Verilog code for Sequence Detector. So everything we have gone through. Also, we have gone through how to implement that particular um, Sequence Detector in Vivado tool. So simulation we have seen, the link will be shared in the description box. So kindly go through that. So once that has been done, now what is our uh, aim is to dump that code on this hardware. So in our case, we are having Nexus 4 DDR kit, uh, Nexus 4 board with us and these are the 15 inputs and 15 outputs available. Once you are uh, dumping the bit file, this done bit will be on and it will be this particular uh, IC will be working as a sequence detector. Now for doing so, what you need to do, the step, st steps are given below this. So Verilog code already we have written, we have gone through the simulation, we have written a test bench. Now whenever you need to dump this uh, code into the target device, you need to create a XDC files. XDC stands for Xiling Design Constraint and then after that, we'll be uh, creating a bitstream file, which is the .bit file, and we'll be dumping that into the target device. In case of microcontroller, you're uh, dumping hex file. Here, you need to uh, dump bit file. So that is getting generated. You need to connect your hardware, this hardware to the laptop, and then you need to program this device. Once that is programmed, this done bit will be on. Now, what is the meaning of XDC? That is Xiling Design Constraint, which means which pin of this FPGA you need to connect with your uh, block diagram pins that is uh, we have seen sequence data which is having clock as an input reset as an input and IP as an input also OP as an output so I need to connect that inputs that is clock here suppose reset over here and IP that is input over here and will be observing my output over here. So we need to configure that pin because these, there are 324 pins associated with this. So we need to define which pin is acting as a clock, which pin is acting as a reset, IP and output. So that will be easy for us to actually operate or to give the input. So going ahead with that. Now this kit uh, we are having. So I am zooming that uh, part of inputs available. So I need to provide this P4 as one of the pin. So I will be considering that as a reset. So P4 will be reset. P3 you are able to see over here. This is acting as a clock and this R3 which is the third pin which will be acting as your uh, IP that is input and this p2 will be acting as your output so I hope this part is clear because we are having only four pins over there to the model which have which we have seen so p4 p3 r3 and p2 so we'll be moving ahead with the vivado file which we have created so we have gone through the simulation now what i need to do i'll be clicking on this source and i'll be clicking on this schematic we have seen rtl gate level netlist now will be clicking over here at this moment you are able to see this many uh, outputs over there so i'll be making this io standard as a lv cmos 33 meaning of that that it operates on 3.3 volt so that is lv cmos everywhere will be doing now here we have considered temp also and that's why it is showing temp also so never mind we'll be giving everywhere like that so this output we have seen it is a p2 so this is P2, reset, we are giving P4, then P3, again we will be seeing, so this is P4, P3, R3, I will be giving R3 as an input, which is my IP, so this is R3, and this output I'll be assigning over here to the P2. So we are able to see this P2 and temp I'll be assigning at the R2. That is not required, but if that is there, definitely you need to assign some pin. So R2 I'll be considering. So this is what is the R2. So again, check it whether we are we have given properly or not. Output is assigned to the LED and input should be assigned to switches. So input reset P4, then clock P3, and then IP R3. So again check P4, P3, R3. Yes, 
P4, P3, R3. P4, P3, R3. P4, P3 and R3. Okay, and output is P2. So this has been done. Now I am saving this file. So save here and give name, any name. So I'll be giving SD as a name. Once that has been done, what you need to do? Now you will be clicking on this FSM and you will be performing the process of bit stream generation. So you are able to see on the left side bottom corner generate bit stream. So I'll be clicking on that. When I'll be clicking over there, it will be generating uh, uh, that bit file dot bit file, which will be dumping into the target device. Meanwhile, the process of floor plan, placement, routing, everything will be happening. So if I'm clicking on this summation part, you are able to see what project name you have given, what is the location, which board you are selected, everything, what is the name you have given to the top module and what are the things that is happening. So status you will be able to see over here. So running optimization design, then floor plan, placement, then routing and then lastly bit file is getting generated. Here you are able to see that process is going on. So once that has been done, so error you are able to see. Now why this error is coming? So you are able to see this message. Actually clock is not given to the E3 pin which is the system clock in case of uh, Nexus kit whichever I am using. So that is we have not giving as, given as a system clock. We have given it as a manual clock because we have connected it to the switch and that's why this error is coming. So what you need to do copy paste this error and this part this particular part of the message you need to copy and you need to paste it in the constraint file whichever you have created. So inside this constraint whatever file name SD which you have created. So you are able to see it and now this particular line you will be pasting over here and save it. Once that has been done reload it and after that again start generating your bitstream file. So again on the left hand bottom corner I will be clicking on the generate bitstream file and I am clicking on this summation. So you are able to see again that file is getting created because previously as we have connected this manual clock you are able to see we have not given the system clock. System clock for this case is E3 but we have given this particular pin that is P3 as a clock pin which is a manual clock and that's why we need to write this particular syntax that dedicated route false. So over here you are able to see the set property clock dedicated route false this particular line you need to add and once that has been done you are able to see that uh, particular file is running and it will be generating your dot bit file soon. So wait a moment you will be able to see routing is happening over here. Any error that will be shown in this particular window error window routing is going on and now you are able to see that running right bit stream. So every time you need to see the error properly and according to that you need to act. So that was the error that clock dedicated route false that we need to add and once that has been done your bit file is getting ready. Now after this bit file is generated now in the folder where you have created your project you will be able to see that bit file. Now uh, you need to connect your hardware to your PC laptop and then open hardware manager. Once that hardware is connected, you will be able to see open target and then open new target or auto connect. You can go ahead. Once that uh, kit is connected, you will be able to see that connection is established and then you can program the device. You will be uh, following that green line only after this. At this moment, I don't have the kit and that's why I am not able to show it. In the next video, I will be showing you dumping of that under the target device and uh, seeing how to see the uh, hardware implementation over there for the sequence detector. So hope you understood this particular part um, and uh, what is sequence detector everything. So thank you. Happy learning.